Hi, this is Steve from AppSplanation.com, and this is our quick start guide for the application Songster. And this is the Android version. We also have a guide up for the iOS version. does operate a little bit differently. And if you don't know what Songster is, it's a web service, and it provides access to uh, tablature, which uh, we call tab for short, and uh, basically that's a way to write music. Uh, and unlike sort of old-timey sheet music, uh, while it shows you how to play it, it doesn't really tell you how the timing goes on it. So in order to utilize tablature, you've got to kind of know how the song goes uh, or access to a recording of it, so you can kind of get an idea of uh, the rhythm and timing of it. And Songster uh, provides a lot of great tablature. Uh, you know, I've been to hundreds, probably, of guitar tab sites, and pretty much anybody who wants to can upload tab and there's very little quality control on it and it's one of the things that sets Songster apart. They have moderators just like Wikipedia who are kinda of going over checking things seeing if there's errors, uh, adding things that are missing and ensuring quality uh, and also uh, it's the only site I know of that has actually a live player that will uh, generate a computer computer audio basically uh, of the song so that you can play along in time with it. And when you pull up in the web browser, this is uh, what it looks like. Uh, it's free on the web actually. You can go and uh, use the player right on there, uh, but it won't let you do things like print and stuff like that unless you uh, actually uh, get an account with Songster. And uh, you can't access the web uh, web player through iOS or Android. You need to have the app for one of those. Uh, but it's well worth it. Uh, here we fired up uh, the Android version of it, and the first screen it brings you to is kind of a search screen. And those are organized uh, a few different ways. Uh, over on the left here we have a the list of the most popular guitar tabs that are on uh, on the site itself, uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, most popular songs uh, that you're interested in are probably going to be on that list. Uh, you can also, uh, you know, as you discover tabs you like, uh, there's a little star symbol that you hit on the tab, and it'll save it to this favorites file, so you can always go back and quickly access it. And, of course, you can go in and just search by name, uh, type in the name of a song or an artist, and it'll pull up a list of tabs associated with that name or that artist. And it keeps a live history of any tabs you have looked at, so you can always go back through that if need be. And to uh, get into uh, the tablature itself, you want to just tap on uh, one of the song names here and it will pull up this which is the uh, player. Now, first off each tab is going to be uh, written relative to a specific tuning and they'll list that out down here and in order to uh, start playback uh, you've got a play button here and then, of course you can rewind back to the beginning if need be. And up in the upper right corner we have a uh, guitar symbol And what that's going to do is uh, provide a list of uh, all the different tracks that are available for that song. And in this case, uh, if we tap it on there, uh, the one we have pulled up is uh, uh, the clean guitar track. Uh, but as you can see, we also have the bass track on there and the solo guitar track and uh, overdub guitar and even drums in there. And we'll show you what some of those look like. Uh, the beauty of this is you know, if you go searching for a bass tab for a song on the internet just sort of blindly, it's very, very hard to, to, to track those down. Uh, and you might get a semi-decent uh, decent tablature of the main track, but you're very unlikely to get uh, these other separate tracks. So, uh, beautiful service along those lines. Uh, you see here we've pulled up the bass tab. And instead of uh, six lines, now we have four, which you know represents the uh, the bass strings, and then uh, what fret you're playing along with it. 
Now, if you're going to start a track, uh, you know, it kind of just starts immediately, but if you want, you can turn the count in function on, and that will give you four beats and just give you the dit, 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 dit before it starts, so you kind of know when to jump in. Uh, over on the right side, if you want to speed up or slow down playback, there is a uh, button for that right here. Uh, just basically gives you two options, regular speed and half speed. And right here is the solo button, and what this does is, as you noticed, we had like five or six different tracks for this song. Uh, what it will do is it will mute all of the other ones and only play the audio for the uh, currently selected track. And for you drummers out there, uh, you know, most drummers who are any good at all can usually just sort of pick things up uh, by ear. But, uh, you know, particularly if you're a starting drummer, it'd be kind of nice to see exactly uh, exactly how things are, are being played. So Songster is a great, great resource for drummers. And in the upper left here, uh, you just tap that star and it's going to save... Uh, save this one to your favorite so you can access it anytime you want and if you ever need to get back to uh, the search screen just the standard uh, back button on the uh, Android control panel right there and that's it it's a pretty simple app uh, not you know too much complications in the way there but uh, a great great service uh, particularly for you know working musicians or when you go to practice, you know, historically, uh, you just see a lot of uh, sheets of paper printed off and floating around and falling on the floor, and uh, sheets of paper are not a very, very uh, easy way to go about uh, practicing, where uh, with an app like Songster, you can just, you know, set your tablet up on the music stand and just follow along, uh, follow along with the tab live. Uh, it saves a lot of space, you know, you can carry tens of thousands of guitar tabs around with you and uh, just makes it really really convenient so uh, highly recommend uh, highly recommend the app and uh, thanks for watching bye